Hey, welcome everyone. This is Kevin Wallace, Double CCA and Cisco Press author. And in this video, we're going to be talking about BGP route reflectors. We're going to see why we might need a route reflector and how to set one up. First, consider this topology that I have on screen. I've got these four routers and I've already gone in and configured each of them for BGP. I didn't want you to have to watch me type in all those commands. I will show you those commands. So let's go to router R1 and I'll do a show run pipe to section router BGP. Let's see how this configuration is done. Notice I start a BGP writing process for autonomous system 64520. And this is stuff we learn at the CCNA writing and switching level these days. I specify networks that I want to advertise via BGP, which includes the network assigned to the loopback zero interface and uh, the network going down to R2. I want to advertise those networks via BGP, and I specify my neighbor. My neighbor is R2 at an IP address of 198.51.100.2. Just a basic BGP configuration. Now let's go to R2. And again, I'll say show run pipe to section router BGP. Very similar configuration here. I start a BGP writing process, this time for a different autonomous system. It's 64,530 instead of 64,520. I specify what networks I want to advertise, which includes both of the networks attached to R2. And I specify my neighbors and the autonomous system in which my neighbors reside. I'm pointing to R1 and R3 as my neighbors. Let's go to R3. And I'll give the same command, show run pipe to section router BGP. And as we look at this configuration, something to note, and we saw this back on R2 also, notice that I'm pointing to a neighbor, actually a couple of neighbors in my own autonomous system. I'm saying here's the remote AS, but the remote AS of 64,530, it's actually the same autonomous system that I'm in. That means they're iBGP neighbors or internal BGP neighbors. They're within my autonomous system. Now let's go to R4. R4 is just going to be advertising one network. I'll do a show run pipe to section router BGP. And we see that I've got one neighbor. I'm advertising one network. And this is just a basic BGP configuration that we learned to do back at the CCNA routing and switching level. But an issue we don't get into at the CCNA routing and switching level that we do at the NP routing and switching level is the way that iBGP neighbors work. You see, here's the rule that a BGP speaking router uses. It's going to say by default that if I receive an iBGP route, I've learned it from another router in my autonomous system. If I receive an iBGP route, I'm not going to advertise that to any other router that happens to be in my autonomous system. Let's take a look at the result of that. If we go to router R2 and I take a look at my BGP learned routes by saying show IP BGP, we can see that router R2 has learned about the 192.0.2.0 slash 24 network. We learned that from router R1. It's in a different autonomous system. And because it came in from a different autonomous system, R2 is going to advertise that over to router R3. Let's go to router R3. Let's do a show IP BGP. And we see that R3 knows about this as well. But notice this I right here. This stands for internal. This is an internal BGP advertisement. R3 is saying, yes, I know about this BGP route, but it was advertised to me from somebody else in my autonomous system. And remember the rule that I said? If I learn something from an iBGP neighbor, by default, I'm not going to advertise that out to any of my other neighbors in the same autonomous system. In this case, that means that R3 is not going to advertise an iBGP learned route to R4. Let's prove that. Let's go to R4 and once again do a show IP BGP. And look at that. We have not learned about the 192.0.2.0/24 network. We've not learned about the 198.51.100.0/30 network either. And the reason is R3 didn't want to tell us about them because R3 learned those from an iBGP neighbor. It learned them from R2, so it doesn't tell us. Now, an easy way to fix this is we could just make R2 and R4 neighbors. If they're neighbors, we formed a full mesh within our 64,530 autonomous system. Every router is talking to every other router. That would be an easy way to fix it in this situation. 
But let's say that this autonomous system is living in a service provider cloud, and instead of just having three routers in this autonomous system, let's say that we have maybe 50 routers in this autonomous system. Can you imagine having 50 routers with a full mesh configuration where every router talks to every other router? That's a lot of talking. Well, that doesn't scale very well. So what we can do instead is use a route reflector. Let me show you how to set that up. What we're going to do is designate R3 as a route reflector. So when R3 learns about a route coming in from R2, from its iBGP neighbor, as a route reflector, it's going to reflect that route out to all other routers in the same autonomous system. And if it were to receive an iBGP route from R4, it would reflect that down to R2. And it's really easy to set up. We just go to the router that's going to act as the reflector. And by the way, this route reflector, it does need to be peering with all the other routers in the autonomous system so it can learn from them or reflect back to them. But let's go to R3 and let's see how to make this our route reflector. Let's do a show run pipe to section router BGP once again. And I'm going to go into BGP configuration mode, configure terminal, and I'll just paste in that command. And what I'm going to do is issue an additional neighbor statement for each of my neighbors. But I'm going to say that each of these neighbors is a route reflector client. Let's copy and paste that. And I'm going to say route reflector client. Let's do the same thing for our other neighbor. Notice the BGP neighborship was torn down and rebuilt when I did that. Let's do a copy paste and I'll say route reflector client. And let's go to all the routers in this autonomous system and do a clear IP BGP star. Just so we know we're not looking at information that we learned minutes ago. This is going to be updated information based on the change we just made. I'll do a clear IP BGP star. And let's go to R4 and I'll do a clear IP BGP star. We'll give it an opportunity to reestablish its neighborship. It looks like it has now. The question is, has R4 now learned about those two other networks that it did not know about earlier? Let's take a look. Let's say show IP BGP. And it looks like we're still waiting for that neighborship to fully form and to learn something from that neighbor. Let's try that command again. And there we finally see some information. It took a while to learn this after we reestablished our BGP neighborship. But look at this. We've got great news here on router R4. We now know about those two networks that we did not know about before. And that's because R3 learned those from an iBGP peer, but it was configured to reflect any iBGP learned routes to router R4. And that's the reason that R4 knows about these two routes. And that's a quick look at the need and the configuration of BGP route reflectors.